The Art Institute of Tampa, which has helped artists and creators pursue their dreams for the past two decades, is permanently closing its doors tomorrow. The Art Institute of Tampa is located on Himes Avenue. There's another location in Miami and six others across the country. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller is joining us live from outside the private college to tell us more about this closure and why it's happening. Brittany. Keith, good evening. We've seen staff all day out here packing up and moving out of the Art Institute of Tampa. Now students are left in shock and they're scrambling. The Art Institute of Tampa is closing its doors for good. I love this place. I think that I succeed in my career because I came to this school. Former student Ryan Barker returned on Friday to pick up gear that would have otherwise been thrown out. He had hopes of returning and becoming an instructor. I had a meeting three weeks ago with a director here to teach here. Students and instructors are in shock, including Mark Sullivan, who had been teaching digital video and film here for the past seven years. I got a message last Friday and uh, it basically it said Art Institute closing on September 30th. According to the Tampa Bay Business Journal, the former owner of the Art Institute's Education Management Corp filed for bankruptcy in 2018. This was three years after it settled a case for nearly $100 million with the federal government involving claims of illegal recruiting and consumer fraud. Well, they're confused, they're concerned, they'd like to know what's next, and we're telling them that we don't have that answer right now. Sullivan says enrollment has been down since the pandemic. He says this closure will directly impact 40 to 50 students at this location. They're in shock. They, they don't know what to do right now. The school's website says the private, for-profit colleges, eight locations nationwide, are working to help with student transfers to make sure credits previously earned will go toward a program at another school. We're losing something that was extremely unique to Tampa. Sullivan says he's telling his students to call the Art Institute's corporate office for more guidance. And Keith, we also reached out to the U.S. Department of Education, and they gave us a list of resources available to these students. We'll be posting that on our website. Well, so, so can you throw out a few options that these students have? I mean, we heard about transferring. Well, they're going to you live here. You're going to go down to Miami. You're going to go to another state. What do you do? Right, so I asked Sullivan that question, and he told me that the Rocky Mountain School of Art in Denver is willing to work with and accept students here from the Art Institute of Tampa. All right, Brandon Miller reporting live for us in Tampa. Thank you.